Leslie, tell me what you make of our students here at the U University of West London. I think that the students here are very dynamic. I think University of West London attracts a lot of mature students, but all that I've met are really dynamic, really passionate about midwifery and about their studies, and they will make a great difference to the future of midwifery. And what would you advice would you give them? Well, I would say to hang on to your ideals and your passions. It can be so easy, once you've qualified as a midwife, to forget all that passion that you have and to get absorbed into a kind of standard system that doesn't allow you to be an individual. And I would always say that the most important thing is that you work in relationship with women and listen to individual women and their babies and what they have to say. What changes have you seen that they will have to face when they go into their profession? The health services are under huge pressure at the moment. Care is much more complicated than it ever was. It's often beyond capacity. They'll often have to work, for example, on a postnatal ward that's like a postnatal surgical ward, looking after many women and babies. It can be difficult to give personal care. And I would say in that situation, just hang on to looking after women as if they're individuals. You said that the midwifery profession was safe in their hands. What did you mean by that? Because they've had great difficulty and challenges getting into midwifery. It's a very difficult course to get into. They've managed high academic standards, clinical practice combining. They often have quite complex lives themselves. But what I recognise is that these, these are women and men who are driven to improve maternity services, who understand just how important it is to look after women around the birth of their babies, look after the woman and the baby, recognising that this is the start of life. It's not just a medical event.